If you don't understand the words jaywalkers and pinkless killers, then watch part one first, in which the words are explained and it's due to the Nazi censorship. So here you can see it, part one, here's the title. War makers use hate speech tool to silence the peacemakers. Now, my channels and my videos are for peace amongst all peoples, all religions and all races and for justice in the world. And it's a joy to see that most comments here under my videos show mu mutual respect and understanding. And because fucktube and the enemy within do not like this, fucktube Nazis delete my videos and my Gure channel. Because fucktube protects the war makers as these pink list killers who are openly conspiring for racism, genocide and civil war. With all extreme right wing leaders being pink list killers and gearing up for war, bloodshed and misery for our children and viciously attacking the peacemakers who dare to speak against their vicious plans by striking them with hate speech <clears throat> conceived by the fucktube Nazis where in fact it's called hate speech because it protects the ones doing the hate speech in their marvelous defense mechanism so intelligently laid out that only the big chief of all evil must have masterminded it. So hate speech is a protective tool for hate speech by the mafia of evil. And again, I cannot express myself to the full extent as needed. And I cannot pass on all the necessary intel due to the pink list killers organized mafia breathing into my neck. The evil one turns everything around backwards, as above, so below, and reverse speech, as in hate speech, against peace speech. So you need to read in between the lines, please, where it's, where it's written what can't be written because of the international PLK mafia raping all our liberties. I'm so terribly sorry. Because right wing Nazism is in fact an entirely pink list killer thing with young and dumb neo-nazis of the poor being led by true masters of deception as their leaders. I forgot this uh, very important uh, Nazi pink list killer of Austria who almost became Austria's chancellor, Jörg Haider, as in Heil Haider, the Führer the Führer of Austria's FPÖ, Freedom Party Austria, and BZÖ, Alliance for Austria's Future. Well, nicely promising names by the PLK Masters of Concealment for far more darker objectives by using innocence by name, as in the rape of innocence in relation to their brotherhood defi deviances of all kinds. The brotherhood's devi deviancy of the Cistercian Knights Templars. You see the Templars cross here. Okay. And Dr. Jörg Heil Haider was without any doubt a Freemason, as he was in Nazi student Freemason organizations called the Burschenschaft in German. And his Burschenschaft lodge was called Albia. You can see the Freemason handshake, right? Eh? Well, what better name to choose for a Nazi like student Freemason lodge? Because Albia means white in Latin. The Burschenschaften lodges are the Nazism for the rich who become politicians, industrials, lawyers, engineers, doctors, etc. And they are tightly knitted man clubs that still practice fencing, gatherings in castles and Templar commanderies. These Borschenschaften Nazis should be treated very different than some misled skinhead Nazism of the poor. <laughs> but well, they never talk about them in the media, of course. 
because they occupy the leading positions and tell the editorial office not to talk about them, to get in the same box of untouchable files with Swaziland. Here you can see the name, Borsenschaften. Here, there they are. So here I filmed some former Borsenschaften members goose stepping in 2012. So here's the title of the film, you just punch it in. Eh? And in the old days, and apparently some still do today, these dudes all had some self-inflicted fencing scars on their cheeks to impress each other. As in, you dominate me tonight, or shall I dominate you? Which is the essence of the hierarchy, actually, and which comes out of the Knights Templars. Therefore, the pink list killers, whom I will also call PLK now and then, therefore the PLK boys feel so attracted to uniforms and dressing themselves up with badges, insignia and iron crosses to impress each other for the dominating act coming night being really into btk bind torture kill dominating stuff as the prisoners of auschwitz concentration camp were in fact btk victims by these monsters who fabulously conceal their true identities Again, by dressing up physically and psychologically. And one of these monsters was uh, Heil Haider, head of the Austrian Nazi party, living together with another pink list killer called Stefan Petzner, where Petz in his name means the bear in Swiss German. And as the pink list killers are true masters of disguise and deception, Heil Haider had even gotten himself a wife and family to lure, to lure the potential voters into the big lie and devious setup. Just as President Macron did, watch this interview with a former colleague of Macron. Here's the text. Or oh, Blondie here, who even actually paints his nails. And he's the Führer of the actual Dutch Nazi party, who openly supports the PLKs all the time. And I mean, what kind of guy dyes his hair blonde? Eh? Blondie here also supposedly has a wife, as very likely female cover-up just as Heil Haider and his wife Claudia. What lying monsters these all are. I mean, if they already lie about their inner lives, giving us an entirely different picture about what else more do they lie, huh? This guy's name is um, Jared Wilders. So here you can read this name of Blondie here, Jared Wilders. I don't know if I pronounce it right, eh? So Jared Wilders. And I have my serious doubts about these ones here too. Look, and here it says EDL, it means English Defence League. Look, and here it's again, English Defence League. They're pink list killers. I mean, Tommy Robinson, eh? Look at that. It's the same thing all over, folks. And all these Nazi leaders openly support the pink list killers in their videos and all want a genocide on the Muslims the latter who are probably the only force left for traditional family values. And forget about the Christians who are too busy turning the other cheek and accepting everything the devil has to offer, merely spending their time by making a seat reservation in paradise. And here you can see a Heil Haider with, uh, with the other pink list killers. And here on YouTube, the Christians all seem to know who the next anti or who the Antichrist will be, but they all give a different name. So here we can see Heil Haida here, the pink list killer, together with the Pope. Now let me emphasize on your false interpretations and evil accusations, which already endured after I said in my Christmas film.
that Christians historically seen are the biggest killers in history. So listen carefully for all you wannabe Inquisition persecutors. I say the way Christianity gets effectuated and the Christians themselves is the problem. Therefore, the whole of Christianity being a disaster and not the doctrine itself. The original Christianity, that of 2000 years ago, is dead. And it's about time to admit it. The best thing would be to put all those religions together and make a new one out of it. A one world religion and finally have some peace in the world. So here you see the correct spelling of the word Antichrist with an E here and not an I. Because it's from the word anterior, the one who comes before. So the Antichrist with an E is not necessarily the bad guy. This is what Hollywood made out of it. And it's not anti, anti, but anti with an E from the word anterior, what comes before. The Antichrist means before Christ, and he's not the devil who comes, in fact, later. Well, I mean, if it's all true altogether, all these prophecies. Maybe the prophecy is all based upon lies anyway. Just like Heil Haider and the Pink Listers and their perfect lies. So here you can see the title of my film here about these two here doing all the Freemason symbols and hand signs. So and here the other ones also doing Freemason hand signs all over the screens and openly accepting the Pink List killers. I mean, look at Heil Haider, Macron, Hitler. This is what they do to lure us in showing themselves embedded in true, into true family values while being monstrous pinkless killers working hard on their next genocide through lies and deception. Just as the pinkless killers were highly involved in this genocide here for the obvious reasons concerning the conventional standpoint of the orthodox jaywalkers towards the pinkless killers and their unholy practices. And Hitler was an Austrian, like Heil Haider, hiding behind the Eva Braun front, just as Haider hiding behind the wife front of his, or I don't know who's, Claudia Haider, being one of the other reasons for Hitler killing all the leaders of the National Socialists, like Ernst Röhm in the Night of the Long Knives on June 30th, 1934, because they knew of Hitler and his Templar Nazis being pink list killers, which the Workers' Party members didn't see fit for a pure German race. So Hitler needed a final solution on the original German National Socialists and had them killed, replaced, and story turned around that in fact Ernst Röhm was a pink list killer, which is of course a lie, one of the many pink list killer lies by Hitler. So on October the 11th, 2008, Heil Haider died a violent death, drunken speeding in his fast car, being emotionally upset because of a quarrel with his pink list killer boyfriend, Stefan Petzner, and having spent the night in a PLK bar in Klagenfurt together with other pink list killers, while his boyfriend probably went out dancing as the PLKs like dancing. Just as their PLK leader, the Grofatz, whom you see waltzing here. And of course, after the violent death of the Austrian governor, rumors and conspiracies arose quickly that the Jaywalkers secret service was behind the crash. Because for Nazi Templar PLKs, in the end, the jaywalkers are still responsible for it all and for every mishap. Never talking about Switzerland, of course. Another very dangerous pink list killer and of Swiss origin was Mr. Hoover, 50 years director of the FBI and of Swiss origin by the real name of Hoover, here together with his boyfriend, Clyde Tolson as always dressing up together as in a uniform, as the PLKs like that, they like uniforms. 
Another man who liked to dress up as in an oriental fashion show was Colonel Gaddafi of Libya, who also had a dislike for Islamists, just as the pink list killer right-wingers. And therefore, Gaddafi, he spent at $45 million on Hail Haida, plus another $10 million from another fashion show updresser, Saddam Hussein from Iraq who also had a grudge against Islamists. And all the money, of course, transferred over the Swiss Nazi Templar banks, as the media stated. Heil Haider's boyfriend's sister, uh, Christiane, said that Heil Haider's wife, Claudia, was jealous. <laughs> and Heil Haider's boyfriend, Stefan Petzner, sobbed at the Heil funeral. He was the man of my life. So very charming. Anyone else wants to join the Nazi party? Well, you better think it over, pal, because now I understand why all these pink list killer Nazis all do the Hitler salute and raise the one arm. So you can't hold your pants properly at the same time. And with only one hand, at the same time giving any given opportunity and the green light by indicating that the hands can't be simultaneously at the same place. Well, homie Ross catching them Nazis with their pants down, so to speak. Anyone who wants to join the Nazi Templars, want to stick your hands up. But watch my videos first before you do so, unless your wives are not jealous by nature. Anyway, you Nazis, you don't have to stick them up in front of me, because I don't take any Nazi prisoners, you hear? Hey, Swissy.